Coming clubs. This was a newly promoted Blackburn Rovers team, strengthened by Jack Walker's unstinting investment and managed by Kenny Dalgleish. Dalgleish had packed his side with the experience of players like Colin Hendry, Kevin Moran and Gordon Cowens, but it was the signing of star striker Alan Shearer that indicated the full extent of their Premier League ambitions. Norwich were having a promising season, having already beaten Arsenal at Highbury and done the double over Chelsea. Mark Robbins led the line for them up front. A real test then for Kenny Dalglish and his newly assembled side. Your commentator is John Champion. So the top two in the English Premier League go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Both beaten only once so far this season. Norwich a point ahead of Blackburn at kickoff. And playing some mighty impressive football so far this season. A side who took a while to settle at the highest level of English football. It's now their seventh season in the top division. But this is a real test. Blackburn newly promoted and rampant in the opening stages of this campaign. Six wins, three draws. Just that solitary defeat here against Everton for Kenny Dalglish's Rovers. This is Sherwood. Via Cowens, it's with Stuart Ripley. Culverhouse came in with a shuddering challenge. Kevin Moran. Weggerly. There's no Mike Newell in the Blackburn outfit this afternoon. Ian Crook. And now Mark Bowen. Phillips. Hendry in the way for Blackburn. And off goes Shearer in hot pursuit and he's outpaced Butterworth. Shearer going round the outside, Butterworth nowhere. And despite the stumble, Wegerly scores. And no wonder Alan Shearer is sharing in the congratulations. Ian Butterworth, who's no slouch was left trailing in his wake and such was the accuracy of the ball in Wegerly had time to stumble before scoring Shearer for Wegerly those two are combining promisingly Chris Sutton in with the challenge for which the referee Roger Dilts has blown six in the Norwich wall Shearer has already shown in his brief spell with Blackburn that he fancies set pieces from this sort of distance. It is Shearer, and off the wall for a corner. And that three and a half million pounds Blackburn spent on Shearer is looking like money well invested. Cowens for Ripley. Wegerly, it was an awkward height for him to deal with. Sherwood. It's taken away from Wegerly. Ripley and Blackburn are gradually turning the screw. Shearer goes up. And Sherwood with the shot blocked by Rob Newman. Looked like a handball. Referee Dilk says play on. And Sutton back to gun. And Norwich are looking a little shell shocked. They're not used to this. There's John Dean, Mike Walker's right hand man. Norwich, the winners of their last five Premier League games. Crook. Straight to Atkins. And turn directly to Bowen. Crook, that's a nice ball, Bowen, and a chance for Robbins for a second, until it was whisked from his toe. It's more typical of Norwich's approach. Intricate first-time passing, ball to feet. Ian Crook. 
Well, that'll be a corner. In the face of this ground at Ewood Park will change very rapidly in the next year to 18 months. Redevelopment of the Nuttall Street stand and both ends of the ground. Phillips. Well taken by Bobby Mims. And the investment off the pitch, mirroring that on it. There's been such rapid and expensive recruitment of new players. That goes in Culverhouse. Ripley. Norwich contributing to their own problems. Again, Stuart Ripley. Ripley's found the net twice already this season in the Premier League. Alan Wright back to Colin Hendry. And off goes Wegerly. Racing with. It's two for Blackburn. And it's thoroughly deserved. Richard Brown. Goss. Here's Butterworth. Like a shove in the back there by Moran on Newman. Roger Brooks, one of the most experienced officials on the list. Culverhouse's ball in. Eat and drink for Hendry. Here's Crook. And now Daryl Such. Not seen too many efforts on goal from the visitors. Kenny Dalgleish took charge a year ago this month. Replacing Don Mackay. Blackburn were 11th in the second tier of English football. Here's Shearer. No foul. Alan Shearer, and here's Wegerly! <laughs> Embarrassingly easy. And once more, congratulations from every other member of the team for Alan Shearer as provider in chief. From the moment he won the ball, Norwich. We're at risk. Crisp finish from Wegerly. Shearer. Now here's Bowen. Norwich has only defeat this season so far. 3 1 at Manchester City. They've won seven of their ten Premier League fixtures so far, but they're going to struggle to improve that record here today. Phillips. Out to Crook. And a decent effort by Ian Crook too. In fact, some of the Norwich supporters at the right-hand end thought it had gone in. Ripley. Showing a clean pair of heels to Culver House, but there's Butterworth. And now Rob Newman, with clear space ahead of him. Newman for Norwich, 3-1. And whether he plays at centre-half or centre-forward, Rob Newman, a wholehearted performer, always gives his all. And that's a decent finish. Cowards. Tester for the goalkeeper up against Shearer. Now 
Alan Wright. Sutton. Another one like Newman who can play at the back or up front. This is Mark Robbins. Dispossessed by Wright, but only momentarily. Crook. Daryl Such. And via Sherwood, a corner to Norwich. Newman is forward for this. Butterworth two. We're just asking Phillips to replace the ball in the quadrant. Newman going up to meet it, but Moran was highest of all. Goss. Towering header, but never really a threat on the Blackburn goal. Daryl Such. Time rapidly approaching, and here's Wegerly. He's looking for a hat trick now. Hustled out of it by Mark Bowen. Crook. Culverhouse. Such. Giving it away. And Blackburn can break here. Nine already this season in the Premier League for the new signing from Southampton. And what speed of thought and what execution to leave Gunn stranded. Shearer tackled a little late, but the referee saw a little wrong. This is David Phillips. Five goals in the first half. On a rain sodden afternoon at Ewood Park. Here's Goss. And his pocket picked by Sherwood. And there's the whistle. And what a first half for Blackburn Rovers. The best of their four goals, the last of them. Chipped beyond a hapless, helpless gun by Alan Shearer. Two for Roy Wegerly. One a header from distance from Tim Sherwood. And the best you can say about Blackburn is that 4-1 at half-time doesn't flatter them. Blackburn kick off the second half, safe in the knowledge that if they turn this 4-1 advantage into a win, they will overtake Norwich at the head of the English Premier League. As such, and it will take a comeback of immense proportions for Norwich to get anything out of this game from here. This is Goss. Bowen. Hendry powerfully away. Alan Wright, and now Sherwood, and off goes Shearer, Norwich already sick of the sight of him. Cowens, Wegerly, Wright, Both these sides have League Cup duty to look forward to this coming week. Huddersfield Town are here on Tuesday for the second leg of their League Cup tie. First leg finished 1-1. And Norwich entertained Carlisle at Carrow Road. Following a 2-2 draw in their first leg. At the moment it's Premier League points that concern both these sides. Right. Cowens. Now Brown. Good 
Cowans. Blackburn weaving some pretty patterns. This is Shearer. And here's Wegerly. Headed by Butterworth. And a shot from Sherwood. Moved a bit in the air. Swerved a little. It's a greasy day as well for a goalkeeper. Handling awkward and gun. Given all of that, did pretty well to cling on at the second attempt. Bowen. Such. Daryl Such, not too far wide. Butterworth. Norris just avoided the drop last season whilst Blackburn were being promoted via the playoffs. Cheerer. Such his confidence that he'll try anything right now. times for Southampton last season and he's looking very likely to exceed that this Bowen Phillips testing cross dealt with well by Bobby Mims Space now occupied by Bowen. Oh, what has Brian Gunn done? Here's Wegerly, and it should have been a gift. And the most relieved man in all of Lancashire is the Norwich City goalkeeper Brian Gunn. Applause from the Blackburn end, who really were expecting to claim a fifth goal. Too intricate from Gunn. It was a danger when goalkeepers begin to think they're footballers, but what a miss by Wegerly. Right. And here's Shearer. Goes down under the challenge of Sutton. Referee has given the free kick, but what else? Cries of off, off, off from the terraces. Shearer would have been in on goal. And Sutton will be fortunate if he escapes with less than a red. He's a lucky boy. Quarter of the game to go. There's Cowans! Blackburn complete a lap hand. Just a matter of days short of his 34th birthday. Rolls back the years. Very popular scorer at Ewood Park. Sutton. Here's Robbins. held off successfully by Atkins but the referee's blown for a free kick and really it's a question more than anything else of damage limitation for Norwich now 5-1 down who'd have thought that is Ian Crook Mims remains alert Going up with Shearer. Headed down by Sutton. Straight to Ripley! Six of the best. And those fans 
can scarcely believe this. Blackburn newly elevated to the Premier League. And looking like they play at this level for donkey's years. And they're going to be top tonight. And still 20 minutes to play. Ripley. Shearer. Again on marked. This time without the power to beat Gunn. But it's alarming how easily Shearer and company are escaping their supposed markers. Challenge from Shearer. Culverhouse. Hendry. Cowens. Wegerly. It's nice. Here comes the fullback, Brown. And then a misplaced ball from Goss. Invites more pressure from Blackburn. Shearer, who's also created a couple, already a cult hero at Ewood Park, and it was a classic centre forwards header, guided down, yet just inside the post, between the two centre halves. We want ten, is the cry. Blackburn's record league score. And remember, they were founder members of the Football League in 1888. 9-0 against Middlesbrough here in 1954. Not out of reach. That's a free kick to Norwich. Whose record defeat, incidentally, is 10-2 at Swindon when they're in the Southern League back in 1910. Very fact we're looking up stats like that a great deal about how this game has gone. Ian Crook. That was enough to concern Mims. But not enough to pull another goal back. Newman. Goss. Lee Power. A challenge that the referee might well have blown for. But who would he have blown against? Both were aggressors. He is such. And Norwich at least are finishing strongly, but it's way, way too late. <laughs> 